and this one is the same thing address groups but you want to go to the second contact so you want to check that that address book does not contain the sender let's change that to do not contain sender let's expand this so you can see better All right. and the address book second contact do not contain the sender what you want to do is it's going to continue it's going to, it's going to check this if it's in the first book good it's going to go to this one if it's not in the second book good it's going to go to the actions so you want to add the action as send automatic reply and then you want to do the same thing as you did for response one put your same template well you don't put the same exact template you want to put whatever you want your second response to be so if they reply back to you you put um you know whatever you want whatever you want as a response if you want to test the iPhone 5 go to this link blah 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 but you always gotta put that um that postpone macro at the beginning you only want to postpone this maybe 10 15 minutes whatever your choice is but I usually do 10 minutes because you know it's the second email to you so you want to respond back to that second one kinda quick you don't want to respond to the first one very quick because then you know you they'll get that spam email back with the link in it and then they'll go flagging your ads you know you just don't want it to respond too quick then it'll be like it'll seem too spammy you know all right so then you put that go to link blah 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 but make sure you use your notepad or you'll have them double spaces in there all right save that same thing you want to add you want to add another one add another action you want to capture the addresses from reply carbon copy blind CC but this time you want to capture it to second response you want to capture it there and the reason you're capturing it to the second response is so that if they email you a third time their message will automatically be deleted they won't get another response from you unless you have it set up to respond to them a third time then you will just create another address book and you'll you'll be able to figure it out after the tutorial it's pretty self-explanatory after the first two setups okay and then you wanna um, then you wanna add another action delete the message delete the message from the server now what I have um, on some of my other accounts is um, I have this failed I have a, a filter for failed email sometimes you'll get this sent to you for you know bad email addresses or whatever so what I like to do is um if the subject contains that or address book contains um, sender the second response email or whatever I delete it and delete it from the server actually you should you should have this line here this should be there regardless so you want to make another filter let's go back and make another filter that needs to be there regardless actually I don't think it does but let's put it there anyway let's move this up to the top oh you can right click it to see how to move it move it up or down when you right click it and it'll it'll filter in the order that you set let's change this because I didn't put the options for this let's change that to immediate make sure you set the folders to the inbox and the, um, the options for send generated messages to immediately make sure you do it that way okay let's put that for immediately folders inbox alright let's go to the general alright sender contains no, I don't want it to contain that. Okay. All right. Delete crap. Let's let's name this filter delete crap so we don't have any any cycles going on any loops basically subject contains that then we will 
delete the message and delete the message from the server let's put another condition and or address groups um, second second contact contain sender delete the message delete it oh it's already there you don't have to put it twice you don't have to put it twice just keep that as it is so if if you get an email and it says mail delivery failed or address groups is in the second contact so they emailed you and they got the second response from you already it's in that address book and it's showing that it's contained there it's going to delete the message so that you don't send them another response so you just hit OK and any email that comes through here your new account it's going to get filtered out it's going to land in your inbox and then it's going to move to the outbox and then it's going to sit in the outbox there's not going to be a timer here see this here's an example right here let's see this is my outbox and I got something see one of them just went out it's not going to be a timer it's going to have the glass here but it's not going to tell you how much time is left but it will send it out in a time that you specified for your template